Hi, this is Josh Garrett from jgarrett.info. Today I'm going to do a quick demonstration that shows how you can use live uh, with an external musician um, and allow that musician to control the tempo in live. Uh, this came about through a question that I received um, about how to uh, work with a drummer where you want the drummer to control the tempo. So basically the drummer would be in charge of the overall uh, you know, speed of the music, which you know makes sense. Typically the drummer um, is the main part of the rhythm section for setting the tempo. Uh, a lot of times people will send a click track out of live. Um, so if you have a sound card that has multiple outputs, you can dedicate one of those outputs to a click track that goes to the drummer. And in that case, live is actually controlling the tempo and the live drummer is adjusting, uh, you know, what he's playing to uh, the speed coming out of um, out of live. Now, I'm going to show the opposite uh, way of working with live, and so that's to allow your external drummer to actually control live or musician, whatever uh, kind of uh, MIDI input you're going to be receiving. Now, this is centered around this tap control here. So right now, you can see that the BPM is set to 127. Uh, that occurred because that's the BPM of the first clip I brought in. And so here's just that, just as a quick idea. Okay, now I can change this BPM by tapping on the tab. So I've tapped it to be now 130, almost 131 BPM. I can slow it down. So right now it's at 106. So basically what it's looking for, uh, what tap is looking for, is two sequential quarter notes. So if you tap it once and then again, it's going to assume that that is uh, the beat. In this case because it's uh, set to a 4-4 time signature. If you were using 6-8, then it would be looking for two sequential eighth notes. So basically, it's responding to um, the beat as a pulse signal, in this case from my mouse, uh, clicking the tap button. Uh, many dedicated controllers for live have uh, dedicated tap buttons. For example, the APC-40 and uh, the Ableton Push uh, both have tap buttons for entering tempo. And again, um, that's for if you're playing uh, with live with like a live band for example and you're manually mapping yourself or your, your tempo to a uh, metronome that's coming from outside live so you know you can tap that to uh, sync up what you're doing with the live drummer but let's say you have a drummer that has a uh, um, like either like maybe doing finger drumming or they've got like a Roland TD9 or some other or like Octopad or something uh, that's actually sending MIDI um, so you can monitor that MIDI and you could, for example, um, set a sound or a MIDI note uh, to tap using um, MIDI mapping. Now I don't have a, uh, a MIDI drum kit here, so I'm going to use my uh, uh, Oxygen, or sorry, actually it's an Axiom 49. And I'm just going to use one of the extreme notes on it uh, to set my tempo. So it's a note that I'm probably not going to play a lot. Um, you know, for example, I could uh, go with like you know a high C. So I've got MIDI mapping selected, and I'm going to select tap, and I have assigned C7 to my tap button. Now, if I go back to MIDI, so I can play my keyboard. So let me drop in a MIDI track, so we can see that there's MIDI signal coming in. Okay, so I'm just hitting my keys and. There's my MIDI. I don't have an instrument on it right now. I could drop one in. Let's go ahead and do that. Just so we can see what's going on. Uh, I'll go with electric and drop in a piano just so we can, of some sort. Okay, so I'm gonna take it back to a more, okay. So, same control I'm using for that, okay. But now if I hit C7, I'm setting my tempo. So now if I'm running, So what I'm doing is I'm hitting C7 to change my tempo, and you can hear it's affecting the uh, the way the clips are being played back. And because that note's dedicated, it's not sending a MIDI signal into bells here. If I play another note, 
you can see that it's those are playing. But again, if I want to change my BPM. hitting C7, which is doing the tap, and it's setting the BPM again, so I can speed it right up. So for a drummer, for example, maybe you would have a pad that doesn't have a sound on it, and you could use that to send sequential um, quarter notes. It may be something where you want to use like a sound that's typically on a beat, uh, for example, like um, a crash cymbal. So you could have it on the one and the two, or the four and the one as a hook as it comes around. Uh, there's a number of different ways to do it. As long as you can send sequential quarter notes and you're not playing notes faster than a sequential quarter note, uh, you'll be able to control live's tempo uh, from an external musician uh, that's able to send MIDI into live.